Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well, and I definitely hope everybody had a good night rest. And um, I hope everybody had a peace of mind when they went to sleep and woke up with a peace of mind. And um, today is going to be a little quick because I have to go somewhere, but I'm trying to put in at least, um, at least 15 minutes before I head out. But I want to um, thank everybody who commented on my live, on my video. I truly, truly appreciate you all. Um, thanks for subscribing to my channel. As you know, it's going to be continued. Regardless of anything, it's going to continue to be a positive channel. Um, as I say, if you see me moving to the left, bring me back to the right. You know, I love um, to hear your thoughts and your opinion of my video. I appreciate it. But with that being said, I love you all. And what I'm going to start off on, anointing. It's going to be on, on anointing, but I want it to be on the gifts and talents that God had blessed and the purpose that God had blessed all of all of us with. He gave every single person a gift, a talent, a purpose in their life. And so I'm going to start off with the anointing, then I'll talk about that as much as I can. And if I feel like I need more time, I can come back later on and continue on that, okay? Okay, so this is at Psalms 26. Psalms chapter 20, verse 6. It reads... Now I know that the Lord saved his anointed. He will answer me from his holy heaven with a saving strength of his right hand. So that's when you read that kind of stuff in the scriptures and just to know that God got you, no matter what, what, no matter what, he got you. That That's why I love reading the Bible because I don't care what anybody say about me, what anybody think about me, just to know that God got my bike. He got me. He saves me. And and I and it's just so powerful just to know when they say his holy, he will answer me from his holy heaven with the saving, saving strength of his right hand. The, I'm telling you, whoever do not read the Bible, pick up the Bible. This is in Psalms. Psalms is a book, a, a, a book of the Bible that I love to read. You will get encouraged. You will be uplifted. I just love the book of Psalms. So um, I have an, another one from Psalms 45.7 that read, I love righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with God. And hate wickedness. Therefore, God, my God, has anointed me with oil of gladness. And so, a lot of times, a lot of things that goes on, you know the things that you love. And you know the things that you hate. You know, I love to see people happy. I love to see people laugh. I mean, I am a positive uplifting, encouraging person. Anybody out who knows me, if they say, describe in three words something about Kathy, it will always be something positive. It will always be something positive. I'm the youngest out of my mom, four daughters, and each of my sisters, if they have like an issue or whatever, they will come to me. They would come to me, especially, and I was young. I'm almost 50 in October. I'll be 50, October the 13th. And this is when I was younger, in my 20s, 30s, and they'll come to me about anything. I listen. I listen to what they say, and I give them a word of encouragement, you know, and that's who I am. And I think I am blessed to be a blessing with speaking positive. And I'm just so thankful that God blessed me to be able to do that. And so um, this another scripture is in Isaiah 61 1 and I'm sorry everybody if I'm going so fast but these scriptures are amazing I want people to either listen listen to what I'm saying but put it in your own life I'm putting it in my life I'm working on me every day until the day I'm no longer here I'm going to continue daily to work on me because as anybody see my video I always say we all sin we all fall short of the glory of God you know, so I'm blessed, you know, to know that scripture because if not, everybody be feeling bad about something they do. 
No, repent of what you do and move on. Don't hold on to your past. And this scripture is at Isaiah 61, 1. It says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the suffering and afflicted. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted, to announce liberty to a captive and to open the eyes of the blind. So I am so blessed and thankful that I was born again because, you know, a lot of people think you got to be perfect to be born again. No, 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 no. You can come from down. You can. The worst of the worst you can be. But when you get born again, that spirit comes into you. It allows you to be in the spirit of God. It. You are connected. I feel like I am connected. Anytime I put it on anything, anytime when something is egging my conscience, I know it's the Holy Spirit. People call it a gut feeling. They call it um, when you get nag something nagging you. They could definitely gut feeling, um, intuitions. Um, that's what they call it. I know it's the Holy Spirit. I know when the Holy Spirit touches me, I know it. And that is, that's a blessing, you know, and you cannot ignore when the Holy Spirit call you to do something, call you to say something, call you to change something in yourself. You have to listen to that. If you do not listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you, then it's going to be consequences. If you, God is, when God convict us and show us, that something ain't right, that conviction that he, how I feel when he convicted me, it let me know that, Kathy, you doing something wrong. Kathy, you going down the right path. When I feel that, I thank him because I know he loves me and he only wants the best for me. So that's a blessing. When you feel convicted, if you're in church, if you look at something on television, I look at CTN a lot, the Christian TV network channel. I look at, I listen to that a lot. And um, with some, a pastor, these people don't even know me. When they say something on TV and it relates to me and it touches my spirit, I praise God because I know that that was brought to my attention without these people knowing, knowing me. They don't even know me. And when I can relate to something they said and I don't know them they from a whole different state, and I'm like, you know what? Thank you, Lord. I did not have to look at TV today, but I did. And I had a message delivered to me. That is a blessing, guys. That is a blessing. Some people can be blessed with the words that come out of your mouth. The words that come out of your mouth, people are going to be blessed by that. And if people take knowledge and heed to what you say, and don't bash what you say. If you were ever coming out your mouth, you're not bashing nobody, but you speaking facts. If you're speaking, if somebody was to speak facts of, about me, I sit by it. I think about what they said. Do this. Is it pertaining to me? Is it factual what they saying? And if it is, I thank them. I would truly thank them because they are here to save my life. They looking out for me. They do not want me going down the path of destruction. They don't want that. So that's why when people tell me something, I don't just blow them off. I listen. I truly, truly listen and see if they are for me or against me. So, you know, so with that being said, I, let me see if I have another one. Okay, I have one more. Um, and then I'm going to get on with the gifts that God blesses us with. This one is at 1 John 2.20. I have been anointed by the Holy One and I know the truth. The only way that you know the truth, if you pick up the Bible and read it. If you pick up the Bible and read it, you know the truth because the Bible don't lie. The Bible don't lie. God don't lie. 
And his word is the Bible, is in the Bible, in the Bible don't lie. So you know the truth and the truth will set you free. So if anybody is discouraged going through something, read, pick up the Bible, read it, pray on it. If you know that people is going, going through something and you cannot be there to comfort that person, pray, pray for them. Um, so now I hope everybody got something out of that scriptures. And I hope that we come to a place of love, um, peace, happiness, joy, all the fruit of the spirits. I hope and pray that no negativity, no negativity is allowed to deflect what the message is all about. Some people will put in a negative and negative to deflect what the positive message is, but you know you have to ignore that. You, you have if you got a message that you deliver to somebody and you see something off trite, if you see somebody saying something that is off trite of what your message message is, and you know it's coming from the Lord to deliver that message, and you know that somebody trying to overshadow the positive with the negative, overshadow the light that you're trying to see for people to see and they're trying to overshadow that with darkness, you have to go past that. You have to overlook and let your light shine. You have to. If you don't let your light shine, then you're going to be a people pleaser. Don't be a people pleaser. You have to be a God pleaser. Being a Christian, you will get persecuted. People will come after your past. You have to know that people will come after everything you do to stop you from delivering your message to the world. But you have to be strong in your faith. You have to be strong in your faith because when you see that, don't stop your message. Don't stop what God want you to do. If God put in your heart to deliver a message, you have to. And I'm trying to think of that, oh my goodness, Jonah. God gave Jonah a, 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 a something to do. He wanted Jonah to go to, I don't want to say it wrong. I have to read it again, guys. But you know who Jonah was um, swallowed up by the well. God sent him to do say a message. He did not. He tried to run from it, went on the boat. The boat, a storm came that caused the boat to shake and shake. He was thrown off the boat into the well mouth because he did not do what God wanted him to do. So I'm telling you all, I'm telling you all, if God give you a message to speak from your mouth, you're going to get people who don't agree with your message, but still put your message there. The person, people may not get it the day you speak it, that week that you speak it, that month that you speak it, that um, year that you speak it, but if you speak it, that light going to come on that this person said that, and it was the truth. So don't let nobody try to overtake your positive message. And you know it's from the Lord, and you sit there and, 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 and go for what those people are saying to try to make you stop, to kind of shut your mouth. Don't let no one cover your words with what they want you to say, what they don't want you to say, when they want you to shut up, when they want you to not say anything, don't do it because they, therefore you're going to be controlled by a man instead of a, of God. Don't let no fleshly person tell you to shut your mouth. When God gave you a rope word to speak, they not God. They don't know what that word that you speak in, who is going to help. Your word is going to help somebody. So many people' words have helped me have helped me to become a better person, to change my life for the better. I'm not that a perfect person. So if anybody who look at me as a perfect person because I'm reading 
this book, The Secret Power of Speaking God's Word. And if anybody think I'm a person for reading the Bible, you are highly mistaken. I am imperfectly me. I am imperfectly me. I am nowhere near perfect, but I am changing every day for the better. Every day. And before I let anybody stop my purpose, bring up a past, that's never going to happen because I have self love. I love me. Everybody, whatever, whoever you are, the first thing you need to do is practice self love. Telling yourself, that's why I want everybody to read the Bible, pick it up, read Psalms, read that scripture, pull it up on your phone where it say you are wonderfully made. That is what God said you are. Whatever somebody say about you, do not believe them. Do not believe them. Believe what the words say about you. Some people t told me that I they don't like the way I speak. They don't like um, how I sound. I can't help them on that. I cannot help them. It's a lot of people who I hear speak differently. But I cannot tell that person anything about how they speak. Because everybody is different. I can't let my message stop because somebody tried to tear me down and say that how I speak, they don't like it. They hate how I sound. Okay, I'm sorry for you, but it's other people who overlook that. And uh, some other people probably say, I don't think she sound as bad as you think she sound. You know, so I can't stop my... See, people got to realize that the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. I'm not going to let anything, anybody stop me from the purpose that God had me to do. I know I'm not perfect. And that's what people get. They get that get that mixed up. They feel when you are for Christ, that you have to be perfect to be for Christ. You do not have to be perfect, guys, to speak the will of God. You don't. And um, time is flying by, y'all. So I know that I was going to speak on the gifts. Well, actually, I did speak on the gifts that God have us because I think and I believe that he gave me a gift to speak to people. And so, but I will, if I have time, and I'm hoping I have time later on to come back on and speak of gifts. I hope I have time to come back on and speak on gifts, but the God led me to keep going with this message. I truly hope that you all receive my message. <clears throat> please, 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 let's not hate each other. Let's love each other. Today is Sunday. If you're going to church, I'm icing for you all to pray for me. If you see an error or something that you don't like about me, pray for me. Pray for me. I ask you guys, if you're not going to church, still pray for me. I pray for people. I pray for people, those who I don't know, people who say they got a situation. I pray for people. I deliver a message to people. Hopefully they understand my message, you know. So with that being said, everybody, I truly love you all. I truly love you all. And I thank you all so much for allowing me to have this opportunity to come into your life for this couple of minutes to deliver a word. And I, I am thankful that you all Take your precious time that you cannot get by. So that's why when I deliver a message, I come on YouTube, I try to do something positive. So you know that that time when you click on to me and click off of my um, post, that you are uplifted. That I share something positive so you won't feel that I wasted time looking at her video. With my videos, you will not waste your time. With my video, you will get something out of it if you sit by and listen and don't take sides with nothing. If you sit by and listen to my message, I guarantee you, you will get something out of it. God is not going to leave me to talk negative and put negativity out there. He only leaves me to speak positivity. 
positivity. That's what he leads me to do. So with that being said, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful blessed Sunday. When you go to church, ask for prayer for everybody. My name is Kathy. Hey, I'm praying for Kathy. She need to do this. If you think it's some change that you see that I'm not seeing, ask God to open my eyes. I ask God to open my eyes. With that being said, I love you guys. I truly, truly, this is not, I just love you guys. I truly do because we are children of God in the spirit. With that being said, peace. I love you all.